I mean, think about it. As Christians, we are fighting a war against the devil himself. We are advancing against the, the darkest forces of the universe, and we're, we're marching with God on our side, and all the while, all around us, uh, on a dimension that's invisible to our mortal eyes, there are angels and demons and supernatural forces, both good and evil, and they're fighting and they're working to defend and destroy us. And this is all happening all around us. The stakes are, are infinite. Our souls hang in the balance. We're standing on a battlefield right now as we speak. We are soldiers. Some people demand that we, you know, have evidence outside the Bible. And I think that's kind of silly, personally. There's no secular argument against adult incest. Brother and sister want to make love. What's your argument? That they're going to produce mentally retarded offspring? It's nonsense. But let's just say, hypothetically, you got a man who um, stumbles across a DVD, uh, a, a laptop that's got a bunch of child porn downloaded on it. And so he watches it. Now, you would probably, even as an atheist, I think you would instinctively say that he's wrong for watching. But why? It's not hurting anybody. Um, just as they'll condemn slavery, even when the slavery benefits most people in society. Actually, what we can say is that we'd all end up worse. All of us today would be in a worse spot if uh, slavery never existed at all across the entire globe. There were undoubtedly many nice slaveholders in the South. I am me but I wish I were more than me. You know, a dolphin can't do that. But if there is no God, then um, this is kind of the entire story of mankind. Ma man desiring to be free from himself, to be more than what he is, more than material. The will of man's heart is towards evil from his youth. If we research to cure doubt, then we're still relying on our own understanding and we're demanding proof. All he needs me to do is just come to the cross, kneel before it, and say, I'm here, Lord, change me. Although we should always be very careful with that prayer, the change me prayer. He'll do it. He'll do it in ways that you didn't expect. Babies are not kind. Babies are not murderers, they're not rapists, but they're not kind. They're pure narcissism. All of life exists for them. But the question is not, whether a thing hurts someone. The question is, why should I care that I hurt someone? Why shouldn't I hurt someone? Why is God hidden? Why, why is he hidden from us? I, I'll admit that I've had moments in prayer sometimes where I say to God, I say, God, if you would just reveal yourself, I mean, can you just reveal yourself? Can you come out of the shadows? just for one second and just show me your glory in all of its fullness, just for one second. That's all I'm asking for, just one second. But the vision never comes. But what is a woman? You just really don't want to answer the questions, do you? I want mommy, I want milk, I want to be held, I want to be comforted. And if you do not do all these things immediately, I will ruin your life. Ever since the beginning of time, teenage girls have been getting pregnant. Girls between the ages of like 17 and 24 is when they're technically most fertile, okay? That's biological. That's a fact, all right? I'm just stating facts. That's all I'm doing. So what I'm saying is that the problem is not per se teenage pregnancy, it's unwed pregnancy. That's the problem in society. I violate my kids' consent all the time. Congratulations, Elon, four billion views.